Greetings, Bodine High School. I'm State Senator Nikhil Saval, representing the 1st Senatorial District. The 1st District stretches from the airport and the Eastwick community at the southern end, moves through South Philly, Center City, Chinatown, and Fairmount, and continues up through Northern Liberties, Fishtown, and Kensington. And so I'm especially proud to note that Bodine High School is within the bounds of our district. I want to start by congratulating all of you, Bodine students, teachers, staff, and family members, not just on the occasion of the 40th International Day celebration, but also for transforming this day-long event to a full week of activities. That you were able to accomplish this feat against the backdrop of the pandemic, one of the most difficult and heart-wrenching times for our world in generations, makes it all the more remarkable. I want to take a moment and recognize how hard this year has been for each and every one of you. I'm glad you were here and I'm honored to be speaking with you today. My story, like many of your stories, begins continents away long before I was born. My parents came to America in 1970. They were able to do so because in the years before, during the civil rights movement, black, brown, and allied white people joined together in the fight for racial equality. Although this was a domestic struggle, the implications were global. The Civil Rights Movement brought the Civil Rights and Voting Rights Acts and also eased the restrictions on immigration that had blocked Asians and other people from coming to the United States since the 1920s. There are many ways in which civil rights paved the way for people it did not imagine. Immigration from East and South Asia dramatically changed the demographics of the country. It also gave meaning to the phrase people of color which harkens back to the overarching movement of what W.E.B. Du Bois called the darker peoples of the world all over against colonialism, exploitation, and injustice. I am here today talking with you because of the solidarity expressed by the generations before us. The world you are inheriting from previous generations is one that is hurting from state violence here in our country and across the world from a climate crisis that many politicians continue either to minimize or out or ignore, and from systemic racism. I am 38 years old, and our country has been continuously at war with multiple countries for the last 20 years of my life, since I was 18. Conflicts in which thousands have died and been injured have lost their homes or their homelands. I urge you to commit yourselves to ending this state of endless war and to ending the climate crisis. As students here at Bodine, you have made a choice to see yourselves as part of the larger community of the world. This is an incredibly important decision. This is a world that needs each and every one of you to act powerfully, to stand together on behalf of yourselves and on behalf of each other. Find your comrades, build fortresses of solidarity to keep yourselves safe and strong. It is not enough for each of us to do what we can. We must purposely move so that we are acting together and we, that we are more powerful for it.